And my man, Big Mad, right in front of me, he runs the board, push the buttons, makes everything happen. That was the good doctor, Dr. Nate Boney, with a score update of all your weekend scores in NFL and some college games. Let's get back to the NFL. And I want to talk about Michael Vick. Oh, boy. Before I get into these other two quarterbacks, I want to talk about Michael Vick. Oh, boy. I didn't want to believe this, and I don't want to see how you feel about it, but he's a one-trick pony. It's official now. I'm not getting off that bandwagon. Mm -hmm. He's a one-trick pony. Take away his ability to run or start making him cough up the ball. He still is not showing me that he can sit back and, and pick, million dollar man. pick defenses apart with his arm. $100 million dollar man. Nah, I mean, because, you know, he's getting older. He ain't getting any younger. True. And he's been taking some shots these last couple of games, and he's been putting the ball on the ground. I mean, yesterday was bad. Yes, yesterday it was, was real terrible. bad, real bad. It's hard yesterday, to win games when you do that. When you're on a one yard line, you're diving in, you're losing the ball, and then you get hit again. Like, you know, and then, uh, what? Two series later, it, it's he's always getting hurt too. He's injury prone. And, and, and so, so would you would you not agree? One trick pony, or or is is there is there the, is the quarterback still there? It just has yet to come the, out. Uh, the arm is still there. Okay, I mean, he just snaps his wrist, and the ball and is it, delivered. Right, but. There's just too many situations where that ball security is not there, and he's just kind of reckless with the football. Does he have confidence in his arm? I yeah, mean, not I, not I think, far as making the throws, like deep throws and the velocity, but I'm mm -hmm. just standing in there and making plays with his arm. Does he have the confidence? I think he has confidence in his arm. Now, I don't know if he has confidence in his offensive line with standing in the pocket. Okay. I feel like he, he – he, I think that he feels like he needs to – Get outside Be on the, the perimeter and move around. Yeah, move here's, around. Here's, here's my because problem. he's real good when he does that. Here, here's my problem with, with the Eagles, though, man. I mean, if you watch, like, the Giants and you watch the um, the Patriots, they run the ball. You have one of the best running backs in the game yes. right now. You can take all this pressure off of Michael Vick. I'm not going to say all that, though. Say what? Are you, talking about, are you talking about LeSean McCoy? Yeah. I thought you were talking about the guy from the Giants. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about uh, Lashawn McCoy. Okay, yes. One of the best running backs in yes. the league. Right. Yes. You can take all this pressure off Michael Vick. Mm -hmm. You can. You can help him be better mm -hmm. by running the ball somewhere in Andy Brain's, <laughs> in Andy Reid's brain. He can't connect the dots. He refuses to run the ball with Lashawn McCoy. And he had the pro same problem with Westbrook. You know what I'm saying? Whether you throw short passes to him, run the ball by handing it off, you can take a lot of pressure off of Michael Vick and open up the entire you field think, you, and slow the rush if you run the ball. But you think sometimes having too many weapons on the outside get coaches sucked in and the one to get that ball downfield? When you have a, a, a Deshaun Jackson, when you have a Macklin, a Vaughn is pretty good yeah. underneath. They a have Selleck. a good team. They're just not gelling. They're just not clicking. But it, it, it all stems to... Michael Vick and the way that he plays. He's just a little reckless. Huh? Like, he's just reckless. He, he throws a lot of picks. He fumbles the ball. He gets hurt. Like, that's not really what is expected of a quarterback. You expect the person to be in the pocket, you know what I mean, and to deliver the football. He can deliver the football, but he's just reckless with it. I think uh, uh, my man over in Washington has to take a good look at that, too, RG3. Uh, I think he learned his lesson this week, too. Slide. About <laughs> Or, or sometimes Slide. just run out of bounds. I mean, I know that you're cool. You're the newest, biggest, baddest thing. Okay. And it's the NFL and it's brand new and all. But trust me, there's gangsters that, out that, there that, that don't you like the fact that get down. And when we see a running, when we see a running quarterback, oh, your eyes light up. I mean, you could be a punter <laughs> on a football. This is field. one person and I if know. You see, <laughs> uh, if you see a quarterback, you're going to turn into He Man. They're going to turn into Brian Urlacher. I'm telling you. It just you, happens. I'm telling you, man. Subway, eat this. <laughs> hey, man, look. At the end of the day, if you can, if you have the players to run the ball, run the ball. Yeah. You're talking about Deshaun Jackson and Macklin and all that. Yeah, but do they have a good running uh, offense, though? How's their offensive yeah, line I, with the run? I mean, whenever, well, you, whenever you actually let uh, Lashawn McCoy run, well, even like you said, if rushing. you can do short passes, My, that's what I was just long about handoffs. I mean, either, either way, just all just, you got to do is dump the ball off to these guys. It's like an extension of the run. Yeah, exactly. But, I have no problem, but they don't do it though. They don't. They do don't it. do it enough. I agree with you. Reed wants that big play. You open up. You talking about uh, Deshaun Jackson and, and Macklin? You, you open all that up. All the deep passes, you if do. you run the ball, short passes, and give that option, and you slow up the rush, so they're not trying to kill Michael Vick every time. Let's talk about two quarterbacks who don't have a problem checking down and who know how to read and dissect defenses mm -hmm. like chemistry class, mm -hmm. the biology class, rather. Yes. And that's Peyton Manning and Super Tom Bowl Brady. MVPs. They just had, uh, they had a little tete-a-tete. 
uh, this past uh, weekend. 13th and, uh, time. Yeah, 13th time. But uh, Brady holds the advantage. 9-4. Yeah. 9-4. Yeah, well. They have the better team. Like, let's just be real. I think the Patriots just have the better team. See, now, I thought Denver's defense was going to be the difference in this game, and they were going to get after Because this is what we found out about Tom Brady. Much as I love him, make him uncomfortable, and you disrupt New England's offense. I I I understand that. That's an understatement. You can say that with any quarterback, but there's some quarterbacks, you can make them uncomfortable, but they find ways. Like Eli Manning. I don't think you can really make him uncomfortable in the pocket. He ben finds a way. Yeah, Ben Rosberg. They find a way to shimmy three, uh, shimmy uh, free, right. and hit somebody downfield. Right. But Tom Brady in that offense with those little receivers, you know, jam them up. Little receivers. Yeah, Wes Welk is a tiny dude. Yeah, but you have tight ends for days. Yeah, okay. But and I, they I, love their tight ends. I get they that, love but those big Hernandez dudes. is out. So Gronk is not one hundred percent. He scored, yeah. But I'm saying not like, this week because I didn't. I didn't see that on, on my. On he out, no, he didn't score this week. He didn't score this week. No, 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 no I, I would have known that. I got him on my. I, 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 I would have known that. I would have known that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm they, positive. You got him on my fantasy. Uh, so all the little guys scored. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah so five West Welker, five points. West Welker, Brandon yeah. Lloyd. These are not big guys. They know it's the system. I'd appreciate it if he had scored. The Patriots system. Impeccable, but that's what I mean. If you can, it's all based off timing. Yeah. If you disrupt it, if you can get in there, and you can make Tom Brady uncomfortable, make him move around in that yeah. pocket and shift his body or run out. How many of the teams pocket. are? How many teams are, are are able to do that though? Denver was one of the teams. They got great outside pass rushes and sure. Von Miller. These guys sure. can get after the quarterback, and they got great corner play. Mm-hmm. I mean, Porter's you bring scored, Tracy Porter in, and can. then you got Champ on the other side. You can go man to man a lot of times. Yeah. You can lock up, especially with a team with small receivers. Now, of course, you probably mismatched at the tight end position, Gronk and those guys. They, and that's what they look for. That they, they thrive off of that mismatches all day long. They look for a mismatch. Wes Welker on linebackers is usually a mismatch. And yeah. Yeah, and Every they exploit time. that like crazy. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, like, and, and, route. and and now you they have all these damn big wide <laughs> wide receivers <laughs> that run just as fast as the little. I guys. mean, Belichick is real good at that. He's like, we don't need receivers. We'll just use these big guys. Yeah, we can that can catch the ball, that are tough and physical, and, and that can run. Let's look at the the running games. Ridley, yeah. has been balling. Hey, man. Yes, yes. Look, pick them up off the Where waiver wire. From? I have no idea. <laughs> my, I know he got me thirty seven <laughs> points yesterday. My thing, my thing about uh, Ridley is the the Patriots don't run the ball. This is not what they do. I haven't seen him run the ball since Corey, uh, Corey Dillon was on the team. They've been giving it to him, though. I, I, this is yeah, amazing. He's, been I, I, I He's got to hold saw, on to it, though. I saw yeah, an article. Oh, yeah, he got a little, you know, a little trouble. I saw an article about it on online uh, today on ESPN.com, and they're talking about the team. Basically, the team is like, you know, at a certain point, you have to run the ball. When we lost to Arizona, they said when they lost to Arizona, that's when they were like, we need more balance because teams know we're not going to run the ball, so they're and, 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 they're just, and they're just ready for for them to pass. And there's nothing for Tom Brady to throw to. Now you have to worry about Ridley. You got to worry about Brady. It opens up everything. Me, ah, me being Eagles. A funniest thing I ever seen in my life last week is when Tom Brady took off and ran from like ten yards out for a touchdown. Ugh. That was the longest. Ten yards I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was, was so it was an eternity. Out. It was painful. It's like watching Yo Kim Noah lead a fast break. <laughs> You'd be like, "What? No, no, no!" Oh. Um, Peyton Manning. People had doubts about uh, him yeah. coming back. Strength mm-hmm. of the arm, the throws. Uh, safe to say. You can Look put all that me. garbage to rest. <laughs> Look good to me. I mean, yeah, 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 better no, yeah, technically had better numbers than uh than uh yeah, Tom even, last and night. a losing effort. Yeah. They just got they got down real quick. Yeah. And that's what happens. Now, now you're playing catch up. But I mean, he's the right quarterback to play catch up. Yeah, it is. If, he's if the right somebody's quarterback. Somebody's going to do it. That's you got to have a They three, just and they started to make a little push. He threw for 345 yards. They made a little push. They just My ran goodness. out of time, I think. He threw the ball. I forget about a little times. bit more time. Oh, goodness. Let's talk about uh, Green Bay and Indianapolis. Let's switch it up real quick. Man. And, and that game. Now, a man looked at me like I was crazy uh, beginning of the year when I said that I could see Indianapolis oh, lightweight sneaking into the playoffs. They're not sneaking, in, they're not listen, sneaking into the playoffs. Listen, they're not because, going into the playoffs. Listen, Leon. stop it. Listen, because. And, and don't, like I said, you not, don't you dare the rest of the Jets. Team, They can beat every team in the AFC South except the Texans. So I give them two there. They can whoop. They can beat the Jags. How many games has Luck played? 
What, uh, four? Four. Do you believe in luck? Yeah. You need some Shut sort of luck. Oh, hold on. Stop it. Do you believe in luck? It was like a movie scene. <laughs> right. right and, and, and Leon, do you need you luck. You really believe in you this guy? You need luck. You need luck. How did he look yesterday against a a, 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 a Green Bay team okay. that's been to the Super Bowl? Look good. You know, a little Reggie Wayne confidence with, with what's mind. going on over Reggie there. Reggie Wayne, he's got his guy, his go-to guy, yeah. Reggie Wayne, and they played out of their mind. How did he look in the first couple of games, though? Like a rookie? Against the Bears? Every, now, the and every now and then, you're going to get lucky. Okay, but the same defense that made Jay Cutler look like crap, he mm-hmm. scored on. Late, too. Last, last minute drive for the game winner. Come True. on, fam. True. The same defense that made Jay Cutler, True. who I feel is an elite quarterback when mm-hmm. he has time, they made him look like trash on on, on a major. Everything was going bad, though, for the yeah, I'm, Everything. I'm saying. Everything. I, I, I'm, I'm, it was I'm, a dogfight. I got to go into my Bay. Stephen A. Smith. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he, he manned up. And work the ball down the field for the game winner. He had a good game. This was like a, a really good challenge for him, being a rookie and all going against a good defense. It was a great game from for a him. A great it, game uh, for him. He was doing now, about can so he, much. Can he be consistent? Can he be consistent? I don't know if he's now, consistent. Now, 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 hold on, Jerry. Now, let, let's be honest. Over the last couple of weeks, he has played well. I mean, over yeah, the last— 313 oh, yards against the Jags. Loss. 22-17. Mm. Now, what is are, are we holding him? Are, are we, are, I mean, he is a rookie, so are we holding Listen, him? Are did we holding, he win? Bears. Are, are we holding him to that Cam Newton? Did he win? That Cam Newton Bears move from last year? Listen, exactly. We need, to stop, we need to talk about him, too. They are 2-2. Two yeah. two. Listen, they are 2-2 two and two right now. They lose to the Bears 41-21. They beat Minnesota 23-20, who's at the top of the NFC North. Okay. They lose to Jacksonville, who the Bears just beat, 22-17. Jacksonville? He, he comes back and beat. Jacksonville? Okay, but he beat Minnesota, the team that's 4-1 and one in uh, your division. That, that tells me that there's no consistency. And they beat Green I don't, Bay. I, I, don't, I don't blame Another it on. Another team that's they're in not your consistent. division. I'm not blaming it on luck, though. You know what I'm saying? The defense the defense hasn't played that well this year. I don't think at all for, so now, uh, for the Colts. Now, look at the next three games. Go ahead. They're all winnable for the Colts. Go ahead. The what Jets. Who yeah. he thinks is terrible. Go ahead. Cleveland, who we know is terrible. <laughs> Go ahead. And Tennessee, who we know is terrible. They can win all three of those Cleveland. games. They can win all three. They and can. that would put them at five and two. They can. They can. They got to do it now. <laughs> Let's see how consistent they, they are. They're still not going to win. They're going to blow something. They're still not going to win the division. Then you got Miami. That go either way. You're right. Miami's actually playing pretty well. They are. They're going to beat Jacksonville the next time they play them. In theory. New, Eng- New England. Nah, you're probably going to get it handed to you. <laughs> Buffalo. Nah, you might get it handed to you there. Detroit. I'm Buffalo not doesn't ca- scare me. Detroit. I'm not counting anything out with them. No. Then back to Tennessee. Garbage. That's a win. When the heck did they play Houston? Right there. Houston. They got Houston. Out of the last three games of the year, they got Houston. And if Houston's got the division sewn up, they're going to sit down people probably that last game. He really no he, he no 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 hey, hey, Jerry Stop. Jerry Jerry in, Stop in, in it. our in our um in in our uh, when we, look at the schedule when we picked when we picked uh everybody else in the AFC is gonna kill each other if you look at the other divisions they're gonna kill each other Jerry when we picked division winners and and, and playoff teams and everything like like that before the season started he had the Colts in there. As, As a, a wild, wild card, card. Oh, back door in God yeah, I, Amen I'm a risk taker baby Stop. You're about to run out of luck. <laughs> ah, and he meant to use that. <laughs> like that. Man. Yeah, you guys are relying man. on luck yeah, whatever, to win man. games. We'll Stop be it. right back. Sports Unplugged, man. Jerry Zuma. Big man. Myself. Whatever. the 